That's my file cabinet. Call me old-fashioned. Go ahead. Who even still uses file cabinets, Joey? Just, uh, don't drop it on my toes again, Vince. Whoa, you sounded eerie. And you were talking in a couple of different voices. Never been much of a thespian, so I guess the Hunter's Mark does work. I think you were channeling the movers. How long ago was that? I don't know. Years. I had a feeling I shouldn't tip the short, annoying one. Well, you can now legit read the past. Future would have probably been more helpful, but I'm not complaining. All right, give me a minute to look up this Barnabas fella. That's my safe. Right now, it's guarding a whole lot of nothing. Do you hear that, Joey? This guy's talking to his plant. He, he named it and everything. Man's probably lonely, Vince. Leave it at that. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little lonely. Oh well. That's Cornelia. I should give her a sprinkle. Let's see here. Hey, Bozinski, I think I got something on that fine peace thing. I don't believe Barnabas was trying to guide you to a life of mindfulness and meditation. He's got a daughter called Peace. Peace, Pusara. Oh, of course, that makes sense. Got any ideas? On it. <laughs> I think I got it. I found Peace Busara's blog. That was fast. Does it say where she's at? Oh, uh, well, the latest entry is pretty cryptic. It just says land beyond the forest and a, a bunch of numbers. Okay, these must be spatial coordinates. Tracking them down now. Man, this is just like in the movies. And I was right. She's in... Formaris, Transylvania, Romania? Well, well. Hey, here's an idea. Feel like visiting your ancestral home, Kerwin? Are you kidding me more than anything? But I'm hopelessly broke, and... Don't worry about it. Barnabas paid well, and I want to see this thing through. Awesome! You excited to see Romania, Buzz? Dude, I have been dreaming of this for years and never could afford it. The extra layer of mystery is just the cherry on top. Yeah, well, it ain't all fun and games. We're dealing with lunatics here. Found anything worth examining on your trip to Fishmouth? Actually, yes. Barnabas called it Olmstein's Sign. He apparently left it on purpose so that I could find it. Here it is. No idea what it means. I don't need to pick it up. It's that mysterious sign Buzz found back in Fishmouth. 
Flamel's abode. Flamel's abode? Did I hear that right? I think so. Does it ring a bell? Well, there is one famous Flamel I know of, and he's, well, was an alchemist. Looking it up. Pretty useful thingamabob, that laptop. 51 Rue de Montmorency, Paris, France. 14th century alchemist Nicolas Flamel's ancient home. Alchemist, huh? Could tie into the whole balancing chaos thing. All right, looks like that's my destination. European road trip! So, when do we leave? No better time than now. Radical. Yeah, radical. And this was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. You see, during the long cab ride from the airport, I'd taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march a gumshoe puts them through. Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabbie in my very approximate French that no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. I, uh, left my shoes in the cab. This might prove useful at some point. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner. Allez! No thanks. She's taken, and I got Cornelia. Must be the missus. Shiny summoning thingy. Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. My name is Serge, and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. Man, I can't catch a break. Paris is a busy, busy city. What can I say? I'm here to check the plumbing for any leaks. Sure, you just. They have been checked last month. They remain just as horrible, leaky, and unfixable as ever. Oh, uh, right. I'm a flooring inspector. Came here to look into a certain apartment. Floor issues, you understand. Structural integrity. Monsieur, permit or a license? Oh, those are obsolete. Everything's digital nowadays. A flimsy excuse if I've ever heard one. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Excuse me for a second. Way too many voices to distinguish anything, and they're... they're all in French. Been a while since I've seen one of these. Nothing that way. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
That's a lot of book right there. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's, it's indecipherable. Beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner, allez! Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are, or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. May I have some soup on the stove and I must turn to it. Au revoir. That's gotta be my destination, but I don't exactly know where I'm going. Not everything's gone digital, I guess. I find that strangely comforting. That's the concierge's prerogative. I don't think I'm getting any calls here. Hic habitat flemilus. That did not help. I'm sorry, I can't read ancientish. Get nothing here. A reddish corridor of old portraits and domestic odors. Nah, it's private. It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first-class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. No resonance. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Montois Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. I find your reticence suspicious. My reticence is born of loyalty and respect. Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the, the other way around. M my point is, I'm a busy man. Soup? There are more important things than soup. You are technically correct, but it is too late in the evening for roast, even in Paris. I just wanted to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend.
You're being unnecessarily pedantic. No, I am merely being cautious. Big difference. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmsted left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um, something that only he and I would know. Aha! Um, uh -huh. Alright. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype. Mr. Ketype. Do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Gramps? Not by a long shot. Sergio Leone? Not even closer. Uh, Stretch? <laughs> no. Flamel's what? Room! R Rome? Rome, Rome! Oh, you are insufferable! I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Adieu! That's a lot of book right there. That's the concierge's prerogative. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's it's indecipherable. This way. This way. So good to have you again. No thanks. She's taken, and I got Cornelia. No resonance. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Get nothing here. Picked up this fishing hook. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure either. That would result in something positively useless. Nah, I can just use the bell. Not a smart place to put it. Not a smart place. No hooking. Nothing that way. It's not a bookmark. It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first-class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. Oh no, do you not have anything better to do with your time than torture me, Mr. Kidaipo? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guest Book. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Doesn't this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? Alright, I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. 
I'm mm -hmm. afraid mm -hmm. I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Hmm, alright. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite a real Corvius Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? <clears throat> I, Donald R. Ketype. Yes? Of sound body and mind. Yes. Hereby declare this, uh, this fine evening. Yes. That, uh, through circumstances that were hard to predict. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes? But alas, while my predictions were of a different nature... In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? Thanks. For, in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden... Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. This is for you, you Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Monsieur Serge seems to have forgotten his beloved pen there. I might have known it was you. What is it now? I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstev. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstev, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. How do you remember Olmstev? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, uh, well, huh, funny. Know that you mention it. I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but uh, I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is thing, Mr. Ketype? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? It's complicated. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead.
A really old, really crooked armoire. A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. Ya at Zoftu. Ya Angaku. Ya Zi Nibo. Okay. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is? And does. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. I don't know what to say. Ah, Paris. The City of Lights. More like lightning now. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. Yeah, Oh. Ancient books rotting away in this forsaken attic. These particular books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Consanguinium. Nothing. There is something capital about these titles. It is reflected in the knowledge within.
There is something capital about these titles. It is reflected in the knowledge within. Prop in quiet. Nothing. Concilium. Nothing. Dikitur. Nothing. Nothing. Fenestram. Nothing. Inquisitore. Nothing. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Consanguinium. Nothing. Nothing. 